sixth grade, module four, lesson 15, classwork. Opening exercise. Complete the graphic organizer, organizer with mathematical words that indicate each operation. Some words may indicate more than one operation. Okay, so we're just gonna write down any words, starting with subtraction, that when you see them say, or starting with addition, that when you see them say, you need to add. So for example, I'm just gonna start with add. So if you see the word add, you're going to add. Uh, another one that jumps out is sum, um, plus, let's see, we could say more than, uh, total or altogether, or even in all kind of goes along with those, um, or increased by. So if it's increased by, you would be adding. So there are probably more, but let's move on to subtraction. So subtraction, um, I'm going to say subtract, and difference are the ones I think of first, or minus. Um, we could also say left, so if you see how many how many are left, then you would be subtracting. Or instead of increased by, we would have decreased by. Or we could say less than, fewer than. Or if we want to know how many more, that would be finding the difference between two numbers. OK, multiplication. So when we're multiplying, we might say multiply. You could say the answer to a multiplication problem is called the product. Maybe times, word of, if you say of, that always means times. Um, it says double or triple or quadruple, any of those would be multiplying. Um, each or as much, okay, let's go to division, I'm going to just start with divide or quotient, um, if you're splitting things up, so split, if it wants to know, like, how many per student or something per would mean to divide or if we want to know how many each student we might be dividing between the class and then do exponent so if you see the word exponent um, that could be something squared or to the power of so something squared to the power of three or four or two or also cubed would be to the third power. Okay, so we're going to use all these words to write expressions. So it says, write an expression using words. So we have a minus b. So you could write something as simple as just write out in words a minus b. So that's what I'm going to do. a minus b. Or you could have written like the difference between b and a, or a decreased by b or b subtracted from a. Any of those are right. So I'm just going to write down one expression, but there's a lot of different right answers for all of these. So when we see x, y, um, that means x times y. So you could write down x times y. You could write x multiplied by y. You could say the product of x and y. I'm just going to write x times y. I'm going to try and keep these simple so that don't overcomplicate it. Okay, c, 4f plus p. So I would say 4 times f plus p. Or we could change it around. So let's say the product of 4 and f and you could say plus p or I'll say increased by p. Again, many different ways to write that. Okay, D, 
d minus b to the third power, or you could say b cubed. I'm just going to say d minus b cubed. d5 times u minus 10 plus h. Let's say 5 times, and then since we want u and 10, u minus 10 to be together, I'm going to say the quantity u minus 10, and then you could just say plus h, or added to h, added to h. And f, 3 over d plus f, or 3 divided by d plus f. Let's see. I'm going to say 3 divided by, and I want to keep d and f together, so I'm going to say divided by the quantity, the quantity d plus f. Okay, circle all the vocabulary words that could be used to describe the given expression. Okay, so we have 6h minus 10. So I see minus 10, which is subtraction, but there's also 6h, and that means 6 times h. So there's also multiplication in that expression. Number 2. 5d, so 5 times d, and they haven't just said add, subtract, multiply, and divide here. So we need to know which one sum, difference, product, or quotient means multiply. And that would be product, because product is the answer to a multiplication problem. And then we have over 6, which is divided by 6. So which word means divided by? That would be quotient. All right, we have 5 times the sum. So we're already multiplying. Quantity of 2 and d, 2 plus d, so we're adding. And then we subtract 8. And then a, b, c means a times b times c. So we're multiplying or times. write an expression using vocabulary to represent each given expression. So we're just doing the same thing that we did at the beginning. So 5 says 8 minus 2g. So we could write 8 minus, but we can't just say 2g. We need to describe that a little bit more. So we could say the product of 2 and g. Let's do that. So 8 minus the product of 2 and G. 15 times a plus c, or we could say 15 times, we need to keep a and c together, so I need to say the quantity. We could say 15 multiplied by the quantity. You could say a plus c. a plus Okay, so we have m plus n over 5, or m plus n divided by 5. Um, let's say the sum, just to use a different word, of m and n divided by 5. Okay, 8 b to the third power, or b cubed, minus 18. I'll say b to the third power, minus, or you could say decreased by, 18. f minus d divided by 2. I'm going to say f minus, but we want to keep these together. So let's say the quotient of d and 2. And 
And then number 10, u divided by x, or you could say the quotient of u and x. And that is all for lesson 15.